July 27th, National Scotch Day. We're going to have to improvise today because I am not a fan of scotch at all. I've tried it. Not my thing. I know some people love it. You know, if, if that's your thing, you're all set. Get yourself some ice, a glass, some scotch, and your day's all ready to go to celebrate, okay? Today we got to kind of get creative. So what I did was... I typed in scotch and I looked up recipes and stuff. Yeah, I could have done a drink, a cocktail uh, with scotch. That probably would have killed that flavor of scotch. Um, but what's the point? Uh, you don't like it, you don't like it. If you don't like it, you don't eat it. <laughs> uh, so what we decided to do, I found a recipe for scotchies. Oatmeal scotchies. It's actually a cookie. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. It's kind of like an oatmeal cookie meets a butterscotch cookie and you kind of put them together and you got a scotchy. So that's how we're going to celebrate National Scotch Day. <laughs> Alrighty, so here's what you need for today and let's get started. We haven't done a cookie in a while anyway and we need some cookies. Alrighty, be right back. Okay, for our scotchies today we're doubling our recipe to make twice as many. Figuring if we're turning on the oven we might as well make more than enough. For our scotchies today, you need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, four sticks of butter softened, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, four large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and six cups of old-fashioned oats. You'll also need two 11 ounce packages of Nestle Toll House Butterscotch Morsels. Let's get started. First thing, take your flour, as I said in the uh, ingredients little portion there. I doubled my recipe because I just want to make a whole mess of these, okay? Never did them before, so I don't even know if they're good or not, but I'm guessing they're gonna be. Alrighty, so you take your flour, your salt, your baking soda, and your cinnamon, and you just kind of mix them all together in a bowl, okay? Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but they're all in the machine right now. <laughs> it's another way to kill some time while you're washing your dishes. Make some more dishes! <laughs> okay, and then once you have that, you're going to take your softened butter, which isn't too hard to do in July. To soften your butter, you just kind of leave it out for a little bit. And it softens right up. You're going to mix your butter, your brown sugar, your regular sugar, and your eggs. And we're just going to do that in the, in the mixer, but I'm going to just mix my butter and sugar together first, just to kind of cream that, okay? Start it on slow, so it don't fly up in your face. Oh, by the way, 375 oven. Did I say that already? I don't know. In case I didn't say it already, 375 oven. Start preheating. My sugar and butter is creamed together. I'm going to add my four eggs right to this. And I'm also going to add my vanilla. Okay? Now, because I double this recipe, I'm hoping my mixing bowl here is going to be big enough for all this stuff. Fingers crossed, everybody. Alrighty, once this is mixed, I'm going to slowly start to add my flour to this mixture. And it looks like it's pretty mixed now. Let's just start now. Okay? Here's my spatula. Okay, little by little, just start adding this so you make your batter here, your cookie dough. Okay, and then on the lowest speed, just so it's just mixing, mix in your oats and all of your butterscotch chips, okay? Like I said, I'm hoping we got enough room for this. Worst case scenario, we take it out and we mix it by hand, that's all, okay? So just little by little, I'm just putting my oats into this mix on, a, on the lowest setting, just so it stirs and mixes together. We're not looking to chop anything up or beat anything together or whatever, okay? So we got a mess up this there. It may start falling out the side till it mixes together. Okay? We might just make this. So there's our big bowl of batter. Uh, we're just going to scoop and drop. Now, they don't say, even if I was using my little cookie scoop rather than this big scoop, it doesn't say you have to press them down like some cookies do. So I'm assuming these are going to spread out on their own. So I want to make sure that I leave a good amount of room because these are going to be some good sized cookies. Okay, so I'm just going to do like maybe 
six on each tray just to make sure that they have plenty of room to spread out. Now, if you want to chew your cookie, you're going to take them out about seven, eight minutes. These are real fast because uh, the oven's at 375, so that's probably why. Um, if you want them a little bit crispier or crunchier, leave them into maybe nine, ten minutes, okay? But no more than that. I'm going for chewy. I prefer a chewy cookie over a, a crunchy cookie. If you get a nice mix of both, that's even better. But we never made these before, so we want to kind of see how they turn out first, the first time. And then later on we can play around with them if we feel like they need, you know, a few more minutes or whatever. We'll, we'll see after the first batch. Okay? So I'll be back after the first tray comes out. Maybe have my glass of milk all ready because, man, I love a hot cookie out of the oven. Okay? Just make sure, like I said, you give them plenty of room. Be back. See you in a little bit. Oatmeal scotchies today for National Scotch Day. It's our twist, man, our twist. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, so we've been baking away here and uh, we're almost done. Um, I did wind up using a glass to squash them after the first batch. Not that they came out bad, um, but I just thought that they cooked more evenly when we squashed them down. I did that with the second uh, tray of cookies and I found they came out better. Not that we're not eating that first tray, because we are. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. I got my rocks glass. Instead of scotch in my rocks glass, I got milk in my rocks glass. Sorry if you tuned in today hoping to see a, a rusty nail or a, you know some kind of expensive scotch on the rocks or whatever. Uh, this is our version of scotch today. And look at these monsters. <laughs> I never used my ice cream scoop before. I always used my cookie scoop. But I'm kind of glad that I did because these are some nice monster cookies here. Okay, I mean look at them. They're just huge, which we love that. So I'm going to go to the bottom of this stack. This was the first one. See, as you can see, it just looks like it did, it, it cooked, but it's going to be more of a chewy cookie, whereas these kind of seem to crisp up a little better on the outside, but I don't care. I'm dying to try one of these. A, what is it called again? I forgot what it's called. An oatmeal scotchy. That's it. Oatmeal scotchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a rum lifesaver. You know those buttered rum lifesavers? <laughs> That's what it tastes like. And who don't love those? Because I love those. Wow, really good. You get that great butterscotch flavor from the chips. And you get the great chewy chewiness of an oatmeal cookie. Oh yeah, these are awesome. Awesome, awesome. I may have to send a few of these out. It's going to cost me a lot though, because these suckers are big. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your Scotch Day everybody. However you choose to celebrate Scotch Day, do it. Wrap yourself in some Scotch tape if you feel like it.